For the final part of uh, Lesson 3-14 for video number 5, you're going to be making another, um, another graph. This time, you're going to be using this data, and you're going to be creating your own graph. So once again, why don't you take some time, and why don't you uh, pause the video, put together a graph, first make your, make your graph box, and then figure out your scale, and make sure you put all the things that are needed and then when you're done restart the video and see how it goes. If creators this is what <clears throat> excuse me the setup of mine uh, my uh, my bar graph it looks like so now we're just going to take some time and we'll color this in and encode it according to what it needs to be. Uh, first one brave bats uh, that was 453, I mean 453,000, so we're going to go past 400 here, and let's choose a different color here, let's choose, let's choose this color, 450 is going to be right around here, so, you know, somewhere right in here is where Brave Bats should be, okay, Power Zone was 741, so that's just 700 here, 750 is going to be right there, so probably right underneath that somewhere. And color that in. Um, flying ducks is 318. So find the 3, 318. So that's going to be a little bit past there, somewhere in there. There you go. The Empire was 608, so that's just past 600. And so, oops, that's probably too, too far up there. So let's erase that, and let's try that again. 618 is probably going to be a little bit closer down. There we go. And color that in rather mess hastily, messily. Um, and then we need uh, Men on Mars, which is slightly less than 100,000. So that's going to be right here. Slightly less than there, so right there. So there you go. Um, that's what this graph should look like. Um, hopefully yours looks very similar to mine. Your lines are probably much straighter than mine because of I don't have the graph paper to help me out. But yeah, hopefully all this made sense. Um, go see Mr. Winkleman, and he's probably got a wonderful gift for you. All right.